cage, Tina. You know, you is out. Whore. Sell your children off so you can have furs and shit. You knew your husband was pimping your daughter. And you let him do it. And then you suppress Solange and she's the one with the real talent. So the party's going on, the party's off the chain, the party's already a success. I remember Beyonce had just dropped Crazy in Love. I remember that, that that's what was just killing the dance floor. And, I, and, and she was dead. In this video, watch how Jay-Z quickly turned around when P. Diddy greeted Beyonce with a touch on her shoulder. Jay-Z came out of nowhere. This was at the Rock Nation brunch back in 2018. Jay-Z definitely wasn't having it. Jaguar Wright is back in the spotlight, stirring up drama like it's nobody's business, and this time she's throwing some major shade at none other than Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles, claiming she pimped out Beyonce to Jay-Z and practically sold her to the industry. Now, you probably know this isn't Jaguar's first rodeo when it comes to calling out the Knowles and Carter family. She's previously made some pretty bold allegations, like saying Beyonce's basically a prisoner and that Jay-Z's keeping her under his thumb by supplying her with substances. And now with Jay-Z's longtime friend Diddy facing some serious legal heat, disturbing rumors are starting to swirl about Jay's own shady dealings. And according to Jaguar, Beyonce's mom might have played a role in her ending up in a questionable marriage with Jay-Z, adding fuel to the fire when Diddy finally broke his social media silence over Easter. After those federal raids on his properties, Tina Knowles was caught liking his post. And even though she quickly unliked it, she still follows Diddy on Instagram. So what's the real deal with Miss Tina? Did she really pimp out Beyonce to Jay-Z and the industry? Time to dig into the details. So let's start with this latest speculation that Tina Knowles is standing behind Diddy amid his ongoing legal troubles. After Homeland Security raided two of Diddy's houses last month, Diddy returned to Instagram over Easter to share a photo of his youngest daughter Love, and fans noticed that Tina Knowles was among those who liked the photo. This promoted one fan to comment, Beyonce's mom liking his post? Odd considering the allegations. And then another one added, maybe she is thankful that he hasn't name dropped yet. Well, maybe Diddy hasn't started name dropping yet. However, Jaguar Wright for sure has, and this time she's dropping Tina's name and accusing her and Beyonce's dad, Matthew, of selling their daughter to the industry. But let's dig into the backstory first. So a bunch of Beyonce's fans have had this theory kicking around for a while now and thinking that maybe, just maybe, Beyonce was manipulated by Jay-Z. Why? Well, there's this pretty significant 12-year age gap between them, for starters. Plus, Beyonce was still in her teenage years when she first crossed paths with Jay. In 2008, Beyonce told Seventeen Magazine Magazine that she met Jay when she was 18 years and they started dating after about a year. There was no rush, no one expected me to run off and get married, Beyonce said. However, in a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay-Z said he met Beyonce 10 years ago. So if you do the math, they met in 1997 when Beyonce was either 15 or 16. <laughs> but you know, how long have you I'm known her? Uh, Wow, a long time. How long? Ten years? How long? How long? However long she's been recording. That's, that's <laughs> when I met her. Uh, well, don't you remember how long it was? Yeah, when I met her. I mean, was it five uh, years ago? Or was it? I met her ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, did you say to yourself at that time, "Wow"? I know, that's, yeah, she's that's a fantastic uh, talent. That was that what you said? But let's unpack this a bit further because there's definitely more to consider. So whether Beyonce was actually 19 when they got together or maybe even younger, the bottom line is she was 12 years younger than Jay-Z and that's a pretty big gap. It sets up some serious power dynamics right from the get-go. Even if Beyonce was legally an adult, Jay-Z was already in his 30s when they started officially dating. That's a whole lot of life experience, maturity, and independence separating them. Plus, Beyonce and Jay-Z come from totally different worlds and that can make it all too easy for someone like Jay-Z to have a little too much influence over Beyonce. In fact, Jay-Z himself dropped some hints about how things went down in those early days of their relationship. Remember his track 444, where he seemingly raps about how he refused to claim Beyonce as his girlfriend. I said, don't embarrass me instead of be mine. That was your 21st birthday. Now this is pretty ironic considering that Jay ended up embarrassing Beyonce by cheating on her. And here's the kicker. A ton of fans out there are convinced that the only reason 
reason Beyonce stuck around after all those cheating scandals is because she was manipulated back when she was too young to know better and encouraged by her parents to make it in the industry by any means. And while Jay-Z was out there living it up with a bunch of different women, Beyonce was basically tied down to him. She never really got the chance to spread her wings and figure out how to stand on her own two feet without him by her side, and fans are saying she got stuck in this cycle where she was dependent on him for everything. By the way, remember when Jay-Z went on that whole redemption tour after Lemonade dropped? He flipped the script, painting this picture-perfect narrative about how he and Beyonce were staying together for the sake of their family, trying to break free from all that generational trauma. You can be in love with someone, you can love someone and you not, and if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're gonna have complications, period. And if you, you can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. And you know, for us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying. It's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. That's beautiful. Like, like real people. Yeah. And then, when they asked him what he would have done if the tables were turned, Jay-Z said he hoped he would have been as strong as Beyonce. On both sides. I mean, if the, if the yeah. shoot had been on the other foot, you know, yeah. if the transgressions had been on her side, mm -hmm. do you think you would be able to be as forgiving of her as she was of you? I hope. Uh, again, because I love her the same way. No matter, no matter what side, I love her the same way. I, I, I pray that I will because um, her strength and her, you know, you know, man, is the strongest woman I know. Like her and my mother, they battling for number one. <laughs> but come on now, do we honestly think Jay Z would stay with Beyonce if she publicly admitted to cheating on him with another man? But hold up, because gaslighting might not be the only trick up Jay Z's sleeve when it comes to keeping Beyonce under his thumb. According to none other than Jaguar Wright, Jay's kept Beyonce hooked on some substances for years, all in the name of keeping her compliant. Jay Z, why has why has Jay Z been coming up with you lately. Because he's a monster. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce. Jaguar also went on to urge Beyonce's fans to take a page out of Britney Spears' fandom playbook and rally behind a free Beyonce movement because Jay-Z's got Beyonce locked down like she's a prisoner. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney, y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh. And then another insider, a man who goes by the name Uncle Ron and claims to have been Beyonce's personal bodyguard, went viral on TikTok for spilling some major tea, calling out Jay-Z for being dangerous and power obsessed. Uncle Ron also backed Jaguar's claims and alleged that Jay-Z has been pulling some seriously shady moves to keep Beyonce under his thumb, like turning her into a full-blown addict. Probably nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. Now, when Jaguar Wright and Uncle Ron first dropped these bombshell allegations, some fans were quick to brush them off, saying they were just trying to stir up drama for attention. Others, however, couldn't shake the feeling that maybe there was some truth to what they were saying. And then, adding fuel to the fire, a video popped up showing Beyonce and Jay-Z leaving a pre-Grammys bash and fans were quick to notice something off about Beyonce. She looked totally out of it like she was in a daze. Meanwhile, Jay-Z seemed paranoid about the paparazzi snapping photos of her in that state. Chill out. Sorry, Jay-Z. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We also can't forget about that infamous video from 2014 when Beyonce and Jay-Z hit up a Brooklyn Nets basketball game. And let's just say, things got a little weird. Social media was buzzing with clips of Beyonce acting not quite herself and looking totally zoned out. According to the Daily Mail, Beyonce was swaying back and forth even when there was no music playing, while Jay-Z seemed kinda lost, squinting up at the HD screen. Also, another clip from the Grammys recently started circulating on social media, showing Beyonce turning down Jay-Z's offer of 
of a drink, which again sparked speculation that Jay-Z is pushing substances on his wife. Welcome back to the Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record, there's no way you don't get to... Fans are now connecting the dots and saying it all adds up, especially considering Beyonce's been acting a little off ever since Jay-Z's cheating scandals were blasted all over the headlines. However, the alleged substance issue is only one piece of the puzzle. Believe it or not, years ago, all the way back in 2007, rumors started flying around that Jay-Z was putting his hands on Beyonce. Most of these reports have been scrubbed from the internet, and these days, no one would dare even suggest something like this about the Carters. However, if you do some digging, you can still find the original articles. There was one article originally posted on Media Takeout and later removed which was copied on the popular Lipstick Alley forum. The article was titled, Assistant, I Fear Jai's Might Be Beating Beyonce. According to Media Takeout, they received an explosive email from a woman claiming to be Beyonce's assistant who alleged that Jay-Z may be putting his hands on his wife. In the email, the woman said that, for a while, he's had a problem with keeping his hands to himself. And while she clarified that she's never seen him just flat out strike B, she reportedly saw him too many times shove and push her. At first, I thought that it was just a little horseplay thing between the two. But once I saw how embarrassed B was to be manhandled in front of me in St. Tropez, I realized that it was no joke, the alleged assistant said. She also added that Jay-Z treats Beyonce like she's an object and not a person. Now, it's also interesting that the media takeout added their own commentary to the email, saying, and if you think that Jay-Z is above putting his hands on a woman, think again. Media takeout out.com obtained a video which shows Jay-Z violently pushing a woman's face. So this video they were referring to is this one, and while it's not clear who this woman is and what prompted Jay-Z to react this way, it's clear from the video she wasn't doing anything to warrant such a reaction. By the way, when that infamous Met Gala incident happened, with Beyonce's sister Solange going crazy on Jay in an elevator, a lot of fans speculated that Solange might have witnessed or heard about Jay getting physical with B. But there's another side to this story, and it's about Tina Knowles allegedly pushing Beyonce into Jay-Z's arms and selling her to the industry. It's no secret that both Tina and Beyonce's dad Matthew were textbook stage parents, obsessed with turning Beyonce into a superstar. Matthew was the driving force behind her singing career from way back when she was just a kid. When Beyonce was only eight years old, Matthew got her into this singing group called Girls' Time, and they took a shot at Star Search, which was like the Super Bowl of talent shows back in the day. Oh my After the group won second place on Star Search, Matthew decided to quit his regular gig as a Xerox sales manager to go all in on managing the group full time. He was dead set on turning Beyonce into a superstar, and he was a pretty strict manager to say the least. Latavia Robertson, one of the original members of Girl Time, which later morphed into Destiny's Child, remembers Matthew as someone who didn't sugarcoat anything. Latavia spilled the beans on some of their intense rehearsal sessions and said Matthew had them singing while jogging in the park and practicing dance routines at home home for hours on end. We used to call him Joe Jackson, Latavia said, comparing Matthew to Michael Jackson's notoriously strict father. Now fast forward to 2000 when Destiny's Child dropped the bombshell that they were going on hiatus back and rumors started flying left and right with a lot of folks saying that Beyonce's dad, Matthew, was pulling the strings behind the scenes trying to split up the group so Beyonce could spread her wings as a solo artist. In fact, when CNN caught up with Kelly Rowland to get the lowdown on why Destiny's Child decided to take a break, she told them, it was was the manager's idea. In 2005, Destiny's Child made a brief comeback to drop their final studio album, Destiny Full Filled. But by that point, Beyonce's solo career was already soaring high and there was no turning back. While all this was going down, Beyonce was busy making waves with her debut solo album, Dangerously in Love. However, around 2009, things started getting a bit rocky between Beyonce and her dad. Now there are a couple of theories floating around about what went down. Some sources are saying that Beyonce was fuming because 
because she found out Matthew had cheated on her mom, Tina. And another rumor making the rounds is that Jay-Z played a part in driving a wedge between Beyonce and her dad. Word on the street is that Beyonce's mom, Tina, sided with Jay-Z, partially because of her marriage troubles with Matthew, and also because she knew Jay could propel Beyonce to superstardom. In late 2009, Matthew and Tina announced they were divorcing after 31 years of marriage, and the reason behind the split raised a few eyebrows. Turns out, reports started swirling that Matthew had been keeping a little secret, a love child with actress Alexandra White. According to the Daily Mail, Alexandra gave birth to a son named Nixon on February 4, 2010, after allegedly carrying on an 18-month affair with Matthew. So not long after all that drama unfolded, Beyonce made a pretty big move and decided to cut ties with her dad on the business front. And in March 2011, she dropped the bombshell announcement that he wouldn't be managing her anymore. Now, when the news hit, both Beyonce and Matthew were quick to jump in with statements and made it clear that the decision to part ways was mutual and had nothing to do with their personal relationship. However, the rumor mill kicked into high gear and word on the street was that Jay-Z and Tina might have had a hand in driving a wedge between Beyonce and her dad. Rumor has it they might have convinced Beyonce to not just cut ties with Matthew on the business side, but to also keep her distance from him personally. According to sources close to Matthew, he was never exactly Jay-Z's biggest fan, and that's because, allegedly, Matthew and Jay-Z both wanted complete control over Beyonce and her career. When Beyonce decided to leave Destiny's Child and go solo, Jay had some ideas about giving her image a bit of an edge. However, Matthew had a different vision and seems like there was some serious clashing going on between these two controlling men. And when Matthew was later asked if he had changed his mind about Jay-Z, he reportedly said, I don't care for him at all. No, I'm not close to him. He is not somebody I like to spend time with. Now, as for Tina, she was allegedly obsessed with Jay-Z, and the moment he took interest in Beyonce, Tina reportedly started pushing Beyonce to accept his advances. Not only did Tina turn a blind eye to the problematic age difference, but also to the fact that when Jay and Beyonce started dating, Jay was on probation for stabbing someone. He allegedly stabbed a man named Lance Rivera, pleaded guilty to third-degree assault, and was then sentenced to probation for three years. And besides all that, Miss Tina Knowles has faced her fair share of problematic allegations. To give you just a few examples, a few years back, she was accused of mistreating the dark-skinned girls of Beyonce's first group, Girls' Time. And according to voice coach David Lee Brewer, Tina once called Girls' Time member Ashley Tamar Davis too big, dark, and ugly. Coming back to my apartment to tell me that I had made the right decision, she told me it was just as well. Now, I don't know if I want to read this part because this is what she said to me, and it's really nasty. Me that it was just as well. And this is a direct quote. Ashley is talented, but she is so big. She towers over the other girls, and she is too dark and ugly. A lot of Beyonce's fans have also taken issue with Tina's arrogant attitude and the way she always speaks on Beyonce's behalf and argues back and forth with folks on social media. When people recently accused Beyonce of bleaching her skin for the Renaissance film premiere, Tina clapped back accusing fans of jealousy and misogyny. Tina wrote a whole paragraph on IG saying, How sad is it that some of her own people continue the stupid narrative with hate and jealousy? What's really most disappointing is that some black people, yes, you bozos, that's on social social media, lying and faking and acting like you're so ignorant that you don't understand that black women have worn platinum hair since the Etta James days. I am sick and tired of people attacking her. Every time she does something that she works her ass off for is a statement of her work ethic, talent, and resilience. Here you sad little haters come out of the woodwork. Jealousy and racism double standards, you perpetuate those things. Now, even if Tina made some good points there, isn't it ironic that this is coming from a woman who reportedly called another black girl too big, dark, and ugly? But believe it or not, there's something even worse that Tina Knowles is now being accused of, and it's coming straight from Jaguar Wright, the woman who's been on a mission to expose these celebs for years. So according to Jaguar, Tina and Matthew practically pimped out Beyonce because they knew her look would sell, while ignoring their other daughter, Solange, the one with the actual songwriting talent. I wanted to be famous, free Beyonce, that be that bitch. Stay off my page, Tina Knowles. You used to sell see when you was young to get money. Sell it now, stay the f my page, Tina. Get no f you is else. Sell your children off so you can have furs and get shit. You knew your husband was pimping your daughter, and you let him do it. And then you suppress Solange and she's the one with the real talent. You 
no Tina for nose. Stay the fuck my page, Tina. And now with all these allegations swirling about Jay-Z and Beyonce's connection with Diddy, and with Tina Knowles liking Diddy's post in the middle of a criminal investigation, a lot of eyebrows are being raised, and fans are saying it's only a matter of time until the full truth about the Carters' marriage is exposed. Beyonce is another Mariah Carey story, one fan said. An older man controlling a much younger woman. Another person added, please, Tina is part of the problem. She sold her daughter off to the industry years ago. This is her way of trying to play innocent. I don't buy it, not one bit. It's a distraction from what's really going on in that family. Jaguar Wright and Ron, her former bodyguard who vanished, confirmed this rumor, another fan wrote. I believe it, she's way too different and disconnected. This is giving Cassie part two only with the fame. Nobody believed Jaguar when she exposed Diddy. Look how things turned out. Jay-Z is even worse. People have been calling him out for years. But let's hear your take on all these allegations about Tina Knowles supposedly selling off Beyonce to Jay-Z. And how do you feel about Tina still following Diddy and liking his post? Drop your comments below and make sure you stick around for this next video.